So good morning, everyone. And we're very excited to be here uh, working on this brand new 2021 Challenger with 379 miles on it. The overwhelming response we've gotten from our uh, ad campaign so far is they'd like to see what it looks like to do the process from beginning to end. So we chose this new car so that you could see, in contrast to a truck, what a car would go like. We're going to start with the cavity protection. We're going to lift it. We'll take care of the rest. We're going to film the entire time and fast forward through the parts that you don't need to see. So we're going to start this morning with taking care of the hood. Move on to the quarters. We want to ensure that we get all the way to the bottom behind the wheel wells so that it's protected from the inside. Hood and front quarters are done. We move on to the doors. We access through the drain. And then the rear drain. We always make sure the windows are up because we don't want it to be on the windows. Get the other door. So the reason we spend so much time on the doors is because the de-icing agents are very aggressive that they spray on the roads. You'll see in the Northeast a lot of white uh, powder on the roads. That's to prevent the roads from icing up. It's referred to as a brine solution. Well, that brine solution mixes with water, mixes with rain, mixes with road spray. It goes in your door and it comes out and it's designed to drain out of the drains that we use to put our product in. The problem is it is a little bit stickier and it stays in the door. So every time, even in the summer when it rains, you have water reactivating those aggressive de-icers. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to the trunk. We never drill or break the paint in any fashion. Our tools allow us to get in anywhere we need to. In this case, we'll remove a grommet. And this helps lubricate and protect the door lock mechanism. So now that the trunk lid's done, we're gonna move on to the rear quarters. Now we're going forward of the wheel well.
So our next step is to lift the vehicle so that we can get to the fender wells, under into the rockers, all of the hollow chassis parts and um, frame parts that are underneath with corrosion protection. And then our final step will be lifting it all the way up to apply the hard wax to the bottom. Be right back. Now we have our hard wax gun so we can do our fender wells. So what we do is we make sure that any exposed metal is covered with our hard wax so that when the aggressive de-icers get to that part of the body, it can't affect its long-term rust-free protection. So the areas that we're doing now are the fender wells where most of your de-icer and rocks and rock salt all get splashed up. So by using the hard wax, we're protecting not only the tops of the shock mounts, your coil springs, your chassis parts, also your body panels. And now we're gonna lift it up and we'll switch back to the cavity protection. So at this point, what we do is we're gonna tape the side of the vehicle to prevent overspray from while we're underneath the vehicle spraying in this direction from going out into the shop. So the most critical part for us now is to switch to our corrosion protection so that we can get into all these chassis components that they've hollowed out to make the vehicles lighter. While I do that, Jared's gonna stuff all of our rims so that there can't be any overspray on the backside of their rims or tires. So we've got the cavity protection again because we wanna get into all the hollow parts of the chassis where they've stripped the weight out. So we're gonna use a two-man team to get through it a little quicker for the sake of the video. This is how we get the back of this rocker, way up here in front of the tire. And we can see it escaping all through the back side of the rocker. So in the areas where they've put plates, we want to make sure that we protect behind those for any moisture from getting in there. But the plate itself will prevent any debris from really taking that product off. So right here what we have is those hollowed parts we talk about where they strip the weight out of the car by making them hollow. But if we don't treat those 
the de-icing agents can just sit in there and corrode without you even knowing it. Sorry. So now we switch back to the hard wax gun. This is gonna spray our hard wax to protect it against abrasion, salt, and corrosives. So I just want to take a second and show you, these are your brake and fuel lines completely exposed to the road. We're going to make sure we treat those extra special. So what we're working on now is getting up under the trunk on the base of the trunk where lots of debris can get up there and just sit. So we protect the whole body panel up above the chassis part to prevent it from corrosion. It's important we go from both directions coming back and forward so we can catch spots like that. And then the final inspection, will a different tech will come back and inspect and make sure that we've got all the spots. So as the normal course of application, we'll turn this over to a second tech that has fresh eyeballs to go through and make sure that we've gotten every spot that we want to treat. Once that's complete, we'll double check it together and then we'll lower the car and give it a good wash so we deliver our car back to somebody in a better condition than we received it. So our two-man team finished off the inspection. The car's ready for your inspection. So our 2021 Challenger has been complete. Our two-man inspection team has done a final walkthrough and we've got every piece of this car protected. Only one thing left to do. Leave it cleaner than we found it.